I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's analysis of the news. I've got a special guest I want you to meet, Dr. Danny Bengigi, former director of the Hebrew program at the Arizona State University, and he has produced an interlinear Old Testament, or what he calls the Bible, the Tanakh, from Genesis all the way through Malachi, and it's fascinating. I want you to meet him. Welcome to Prophecy in the News. Thank you very much, dear Church. I heard a lot about you, and I'm so pleased to be here with you. Well, it's a joy to have you here. I want to show you this. This is the uh, disc, and it has the entire Old Testament on it. It has search capabilities. Uh, uh, it's, it's just incredible. And I want to show you on the screen here. If you'll notice, we have the Hebrew text in black above. And we have the uh, transliteration of the Hebrew in English sounding uh, pronunciation um, in blue. And then we have the English translation in red. And uh, this, this is really fascinating. And I don't know if you realize it or not, but Hebrew was the original language. In fact, it, it was the language that God gave to Adam. And uh, Enoch, of course, as I've told you in the last few programs, Enoch was the first teacher of men how to read and write. And they used the Hebrew language. And by the way, I, I don't know if you know this or not, but Alexander the Great went to India and he found a tomb of Enos, mm -hmm. the son of Canaan, mm -hmm. who was the son of Adam. Yes. And the inscriptions on the tomb were in Hebrew. And he wrote back to his people in Greece that this was the first language that Hebrew was the original language. <laughs> and that's the third from Adam. I mean, this is incredible stuff. So you need to get this. I hope you will. You can order it uh, from our ministry. Call the phone number at the bottom of the screen. It's 1-800-475-1111. And you can get it also by ordering here on the internet. But if you'll call the office, somebody, a live person, will talk to you and help you to order this. And I hope you will get. Tell us about how you did this. How, how did you put all this together? Well, first of all, it came from the need. People quote all the time. They quote from the Bible. And I hear it on television and Many of them misquote and they try to say the Hebrew word. It's the need of everybody once in a while to say something in Hebrew from the Bible. Mm -hmm. And that there is no source to do it. The only transliteration basically that was here, transliteration for people not familiar, are simply saying Hebrew words by simply reading them in English letters. That's all. Um, there was a system that was developed 200 years ago and was still prevalent until today was so cumbersome and complicated with all kind of symbols and X's and dots and points. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you didn't have a PhD in linguistics, you could not even get close to this. And we thought that something is wrong. The Bible belongs to everybody. Hebrew is the language, the intimate language of God, angels, and his prophets. Mm -hmm. Why not making it available to every human being? So we flew to Israel and met an ingenious engineer and I was teaching Hebrew, so I spoke to him Hebrew grammar, and he was typing computer programming in the speed of me speaking, ingenious. <clears throat> when that was done, the entire text, as you showed it here, mm -hmm. the Hebrew on the top in black, mm -hmm. and then the transliteration, which is basically Hebrew words spelled out with English letters, make the Hebrew Bible available to every human being mm -hmm. without knowing Hebrew if they don't have the time to do that. That's the whole idea here. How about that? And we took an extra step, and sometimes people see a word transliterated, and there are like 19 characters. Mm -hmm. There is no way to read that. It's too complicated. Yeah. So we broke it down to syllables. So like the word is Torah, it will be T-O, little bullet, R, A, a and H or so on in every word, like yeah. menorah, like in your yes. famous book, it will be M-O, little bullet, N-O, little bullet, R-A. Show me one human being that cannot read it over the age of five. Yes, <laughs> no. I understand. Right here on the back of this uh, uh, case that you have these two CDs in uh, is an example with the uh, Hebrew in black 
And then the transliteration that says Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim va et Haaretz. That's the uh, Genesis 1 1. And then the translation here in red in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And it's the entire Old Testament. But there's something else. There is a CD here, an MPEG 3 format CD that you can also put in your computer. And while you're watching this, you can listen to it in Hebrew and follow along. It is just absolutely phenomenal. Now, you, do you see this? Let me get these right over here so you can see. You see these? This is an interlinear Bible, $169. Well, he's put it all off. And this has the English and then uh, the Hebrew above it, English below it. And then uh, another translation beside it. Well, this has the same thing, except it's on a disc for your computer. And then it has this audio where you can hear it and hear the pronunciation of the sounds and really become a Hebrew expert. <laughs> <laughs> this is $169. This this retails for $89. We're making it available to you for $49.95. Just call the phone number at the bottom of your screen and order it, will you? Order it today. I think you will be absolutely fascinated by it. It will help you in your Hebrew studies, and everybody needs to have enough knowledge of Hebrew to be able to uh, at least get around in the Bible. So please, get it. This will be your best friend. Don't you think? Absolutely. And if I may add one more thing, Pastor mm -hmm. Church, um, it's not only a CD. Every page here is printable mm. in eight and a half by 11 pages. There are 4,000 of them. And think of that. Carry something like that anywhere you go. Yes. You need somebody to hold it for you. The idea is that nobody needs the entire Bible at the same time, all the time. Right. We need a chapter here, a verse here. Mm -hmm. So if you need any uh, people need something, they just print out the page or two or chapter that they need oh. at that time. Mm -hmm. Not need to carry that with yes. you all the time. That's great. And uh, here, yes, the entire sound. Furthermore, in, this, in, the, in the ancient accent, which is the proper one spoken the Galilee by the people of the time of Jesus, exactly the same. So it's also, a p besides this, the Hebrew Bible, it's something for, to meditate on. If somebody loves a special chapter, close your eyes, put it there and listen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's arranged book by book though on this yes. one. And you could take the Psalms uh, portion of that CD and just listen to absolutely, the Psalms, right? Absolutely, for meditation purposes or uh -huh. for study. And again, the Have stress on this is that you don't need to be a Hebrew scholar to have the Hebrew Bible available. Wow. And I can tell you here for hours why Hebrew and how Hebrew relates to Christians. It's making a person learning or using even a little bit of Hebrew closer to the source. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Hebrew is the language God speaks. So if you really want to uh, talk to the Lord in His language, uh, try Hebrew, <laughs> right? Hallelujah. <Don't> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so hey, get this today, will you? Order it from us. Call the phone number at the bottom of your screen. It's 1-800-475-1111. Call that phone number. You'll get somebody in our office if it's between 9 and 5. After hours, we have an answering service that uh, will take your order. They know all about it. They've been informed. So um, you can call any time of the day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You can get somebody at our place to take this order for you. So I hope you will today. This is the Hebrew interlinear Bible all the way from Genesis to Malachi. Now I understand you're working on the New Testament. Uh, many of our pastors, f friends and leaders and said, would you do something like this with the New Testament? Mm -hmm. And we asked the people in Israel to do that and they're willing to do this in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. So it's in the progress. That. But it's not available yet. Just the Old Testament, the Hebrew portion of the, of the scriptures the, the New Testament was written in Greek, but the, he, the, the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. But you're doing the New Testament in Hebrew. In right? Hebrew. Aha. Well, that'll be something when it comes out. But go ahead and get this one and start in on Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and all the way through to Malachi. It's there for you. And uh, you will thoroughly enjoy it. It will help you to gain a tremendous knowledge. And by the way, if you need to know what a particular Hebrew word 
uh, means or a name uh, or a name you can go to the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance and look it up in the Hebrew lexicon in the back of it it's all numbered with the with the uh, strong numbers the uh, uh, Hebrew of uh, the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance and then you can hear it in Hebrew here and read it and even the transliteration you can read it in Hebrew even though you speak English and that's, that's a terrific, and you know, you, you memorize scripture. Why not memorize some of them in Hebrew? Some of the really nifty ones, huh? So get it today. Will you order it from us? We hope you will. Thanks for coming to be with us on today's Prophecy in the News. Thank you very much, J.R. Church. Thank you. I'm J.R. Church. We'll see you again tomorrow with our analysis of the news.